Hi everyone, it's Lindsay and welcome to my weight loss diary. This week I'm going to try and reduce 150.6 by weighing in on video. Come on, bibs! I finally got my light fixed, so hopefully the lighting is a little bit better. I'm still not super great with this stuff because honestly, I don't put as much effort into it as I probably should if I'm putting this out here, but my main motivation for making videos is to keep on track with my weight loss and hopefully maybe it helps other people keep on track, you know what I mean? Shared experience kind of deal. See me struggle and then know it's okay to struggle. <laughs> Although things have been going pretty well lately. Um, I'm going to go ahead and show you the way in and then I'm going to tell you my dirty little secret. Boom. So I started the week at 150.6 and I officially made it to 149.8. I'm out of the 150s. I'm almost, and depending on what you read, considered in a healthy weight range. Because I've read between 125 and 150. I've read between 115 and 145. So I figure a healthy weight range really is probably around 145. But, um, but yeah, I'm pretty excited. I'm trying to keep Bibby's little butthole out of the view but he's going to make that difficult for me. Let's just give Bibby a second to sit down or roll, either way. So yeah, I am super excited to be pretty close to a healthy weight range and um, I can definitely tell like on days when I don't eat a whole lot, I feel like my stomach's getting smaller, but I know that I'm not, while I don't have a necessarily specific, like this is the weight that I need to hit, I know it'll probably be around 135 is what I'm assuming, but I can tell in my body because I still carry a pretty decent amount of weight in my stomach and I, you know, mostly can disguise that when I wear clothes, but like I got a lot of stuff going on here. Um, while overall I feel like I look fine, it's just that's how I'm gauging my weight loss, not by so much the numbers specifically, but how my body looks. With that being said, you know, being down to 149.8 is all fine and good, but let me tell you my dirty little secret, and I'm curious if any of you guys that watch, because I know a lot of you guys are on weight loss or on a weight loss journey on YouTube as well, if, if you're guilty of doing this. So do you ever like, you go and you do your weigh in and you're like, yes, you know, you lost weight and you do your weigh in and then, you know, that same day you're like, oh yeah, I'm gonna just eat whatever the hell I want today. <laughs> um, I do it like every week. And then like the next day my weight's back up. <laughs> just because you eat one meal and it just, your weight can go way up from just one meal. And then you spend the first half of the week just trying to get back to where you were. <laughs> That's kind of what I'm guilty of. So I, I ate a bunch of Oreos and pasta because I knew those things, you know, will elevate my weight, not necessarily make me gain weight. If I ate it every day, it would. <laughs> and sure enough, my weight was back up this morning like two pounds. And I know it's just inflated. And then, you know, I know whenever I'm gonna have to weigh in again, oh, I gotta be real careful. My weigh-in's coming up. And I mean, I'm careful most of the week, but I'm much more careful about what I eat. Like I'll eat, I won't eat pasta <laughs> and I won't eat out if I have a weigh-in coming. So I've kind of learned the ways that our weight can just like trick us and sabotage us, I guess. But in a lot of ways, um, I'm definitely guilty of doing that after weigh-in 
binge. I did it back whenever I did Weight Watchers too. Like I used to go to Weight Watchers with my mom and then we'd be like, let's go weigh in and then now we can go out to eat. <laughs> so probably not the best, best thing to do. Probably better just to consistently eat well. But I found that, you know, if you eat well, like 95% of the time, you're, you're fine. I probably would just have, you know, better progress if I ate well all the time. And Jeff had said to me that he really wanted to see more progress because his weight has pretty much, like, stayed pretty stagnant the last couple of weeks. And so uh, I've been doing my food prep today for us, and I'm making some of less calorically dense items like broccoli potato soup, um, plant-based shepherd's pie. Uh, I've been doing that kind of food prep today, trying to get the vegetables up and the starches a little bit less. And maybe staying away from pasta. Not that it's bad, but the less um, processed things are, the more satiated and the better things seem to go with weighing in. Isn't it kind of sad, this level of desperation? He's over here, like, licking my arm, chomping me. This is how he is a lot. Ow! I gotta drink my water now. I put Kool-Aid in my water, and uh, I learned from Jeff that it feels extra cool if you drink it out of a, a vase because you can pretend it's a health potion. Bibby. Let's see, what else is there to report for this week? Uh, probably just that I kind of got off my routine this last week and my sleep got messed up because I've still had to take Benadryl pretty regularly from the itching. Although that situation is definitely improving. Like I can tell my feet are less itchy and with that I have not been breaking out in hives quite as bad, but it's it's still lingering. Um, and then I just had to try and readjust my sleep this week because I've been up way too late and hopefully I'm back on track with that. Anyway, I could ramble on about things people don't care about too much. <laughs> That's all I have for today. I'm just going to finish up my food prep and maybe sit down and watch a little Star Trek. So thank you all for watching, and hopefully I'll still be in the 140s next week. Hopefully going down even further. Alright, I'll see you guys next time.